Welcome to discuss number of possible functions on a given set. Find the number of all onto functions from set 1, 2, 3, etc. till n to itself. Before we do that, let's take another case. Find the number of all functions from a to b if number of elements of a is p and number of elements of b is q. a has p elements and b has q elements. How many functions are possible? Let us check. As we know, in a function, every element of the domain should have a unique image. Every element of the domain. That is, each element a1, a2, a3 should be related to exactly one image. Let's take few examples. It may be like this. Every single element is related to the same element. A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, A3, etc. A1, A1, A2, A2, A3, A3, etc. The roster form of one function I have written. Arrow diagram looks like this in that case. This is one possible function. Another possible function I am writing that is this way. A1, A2, A2, A1. A3, A4, A4, A3, etc. It is a roster form for another example. Even this is a function. It is a function because... A3 has a unique image, only one image, no second image A3 has. A4 has only one image, unique image and every single element is having some or other image and that is unique image made for each element. So it's a function. Let's see another one. Can it be this way? Every element is related to A1. That is A1, A1, A2, A1, A3, A1, etc. Will it also be a function? Yes, of course. This is a function because every element in the domain, say for example A4, how many elements A4, how many images A4 has? One image, A1 is the image. A3 has only one image, A1 is the only image. Even this is a function. Had we taken all of them to A4, then also it is a function. So like that, many, many, many more functions we may be able to write. But how many? That is the question out here. One thing we notice here. In all these examples that I have written, exactly P pairs are listed down. P pairs. P pairs because there are P elements in the domain. Corresponding to each element, one pair is made. Let's take the case, could it be some less number of pairs? To have less number of pairs, we should have avoided some of them. What would that mean? That means, some of the elements do not have an image. Oh, in that case, that won't be called a function. To call it a function, every element should have image. In case I skip one of them, to reduce the number of pairs in the function, that will not be a function only. Secondly, can there be more than p pairs, extra pair? How is that possible? That is possible only if it happens like this. A3 has an image A2. Also, A3 written once more with another image. What does that mean? That means... One element has more than one image. Then image is not unique. Two, two images. Then also it will not be a function. So, basically to call it a function, in a function exactly p pair should be there. As there are p elements. Okay. So, exactly p pairs. Exactly p pairs. Now, the question is how many ways the images could have been chosen? See three examples we have already written. Come on to A1. For A1, the image could be any element from this set B which has Q elements. So, Q options are there for A1. So, we can fill it in Q ways. Any of the images you fill here, Q ways. Now come to A2. How many ways we could fill this place? A2 could be 
having the images again in two ways because if we have taken one element as an image, that element can be again image. Look, this example, A1 was an image for A1. For A2 also the same image can happen. So again Q ways. Same thing would happen to the A3. Etc. All these pairs can be made in Q ways. Now as we want to fill all of these P places in Q ways each. The total number of ways we can fill will be Q into Q into Q into etc. Q. That is by multiplication principle. P times we multiply Q. That is Q raised to the power P. So, as many ways we can fill, so many functions would have been possible. So, the total number of functions will be Q into Q into Q into Q P times. That is Q raised to P. So, total number of functions will be Q raised to P. There are Q raised to P functions. Now let's consider the function from A to A having elements 1 to N, 1, 2, 3, etc. N, 1, 2, 3, etc. N, both domain and codomain. Now we need to find out how many onto functions are there. As we have already discussed, there are to be exactly N pairs in this. Exactly N pairs as there are N elements in the domain. It cannot be less than n pairs. It cannot be more than n pairs. Exactly n pairs. Now, let's go for the first element, 1. How many ways can we have the image for 1? One? 1 may have any of the elements from the codomain. It could be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, etc. Any of these options. This one can be related to any of them. N options are there. So here any of those N numbers can come. So this place can be filled by any of the N elements of set A. That is in N ways. Let's take one of them. Say one has already taken the image 1 suppose. Now when we go for the second number 2. How many ways can we fill it? It looks as if 2 can also take all n elements any of the n elements but what would happen if you use the image one which is already being used no problem it's still a function but there is another difficulty that is in that case it will look like this in case you are repeating an image definitely there will be at least one image left out as the number of elements are equal here. All of them should be having the image, unique image. So if one of the elements using already used image, of course, one will be left out. Which will lead to this function not to be an onto function. We want it onto function. So what can be done? The only thing is, you should avoid using the image that is already being used for first element. So you are left with only n minus 1 options. So second place can be filled by any of the n minus 1 elements of A leaving behind the one whichever it is being used for the first one. Leave alone that remaining n minus 1 ways. Likewise, if you go to the third element, you have already used two elements. Leave them. You are left with n minus 2 elements. So this place can be filled in n minus 2 ways only, etc. It goes on reducing. The last pair has got only one option. The exactly one element that is left out will be used out here. One way. So filling up these n pairs will be in respectively n ways, n minus 1 ways, n minus 2 ways, etc. one way. So the total number of arrangements will be by multiplication principle n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc. till 1 which is nothing but n factorial. So total number of functions having this particular specification will be n factorial. So there will be n factorial on two functions from set A to set A.